Well, kids headed back to the classroom this month, so that means the little coughs and the runny noses are back too. Well, Immunize El Paso is working to keep the community safe. And joining us now to talk about outreach clinics that will be held throughout the community is Christina Rada, the Marketing and Outreach Director for Immunize El Paso. Christina, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Nicole. Glad to be here. Well, according to the CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, children should begin vaccinations against serious diseases before they turn two. So vaccinations are one of the safest and most cost-effective ways to prevent infectious diseases, as we know. So can you talk to us about National Immunization Awareness Month and how Immunize El Paso is bringing awareness to the community? Absolutely. So National Immunization Awareness Month is a very special month for us because even though we promote vaccination for adults and children year round, this is a month to really celebrate it. And the way that we are doing that is by hosting several mobile clinics throughout El Paso County. And those mobile clinics are held at middle schools, at high schools. We also have the Holy Spirit Catholic Church that will be having it every Tuesday. So we are bringing vaccines to neighborhoods where people live so that if there are any types of barriers like transportation, they're not able to get to our standalone clinics, this is a great, great way to, to help. Is this where you guys kind of implemented the mobile clinics where people having a hard time getting to the actual locations to get vaccinations? Is that where you guys started this? We actually do mobile clinics for several different reasons. So for example, this month we have mobile clinics because of the National Immunization Awareness Month, but next month we're gonna start having mobile clinics for flu vaccines, which we are really excited about because that's something that will protect our community against the flu and other upper respiratory uh, type of infections. Oh yeah, we definitely need to get that flu vaccine. Flu season is right around the corner. It is. <laughs> so what are some of the locations? Um, can you just run through those real quick? I know one of them is going to be at East Lake High School, right? So are they placed different locations throughout the city? Yes, and actually East Lake is today. We also have um, the Holy Spirit Christian uh, Catholic, I'm sorry, Catholic Church uh, doing it every Tuesday. We have Ricardo Estrada Middle School, and that's uh, on Darrington Road, Pebble Hills High School, and as well as Montwood Middle School, and that's on Pebble Hills. We have a complete list of that also on our website. Oh, that is so perfect. So we've got it all at kvie.com, so you can just click on this story, and all the information that Christina just laid out for you is located there at kvie.com. Christina, thanks so much for joining us. Nicole, thanks for having me. Let's get to storm track weather now. The dry air will be